Hi, I'm Rich Miller. I'm the editor of Data Center Knowledge, and we're here on day two of the Open Compute Summit in Santa Clara, California. And we're here at the booth for Hive Solutions. Uh, I'm here with Steve Ichinaga, who is uh, with Hive and is going to tell us a little bit about what you guys are doing at the show. Sure. And yeah. I thought maybe a good place to start is for our readers who may not already be familiar with Hive. Tell us about um, uh, what you guys do. Sure. Yeah, Hive Solutions, um, our focus is uh, to service the large scale out customers. So we've been the primary supplier for Facebook in terms of the uh, being the key integrator for uh, Facebook servers. We've been doing that and engaged with them since 2009. So we've been involved with Open Compute since the very beginning. and. Um, from there, we've also gone to other customers that have wanted OCP or any other type of uh, customized um, large-scale data center solution. Now, one of the interesting things that you guys have been early with is uh, developing sort of standard products based on open compute to make this accessible to more right. folks. Yes. You've got a lot of interesting hardware here on the show. Yes. Maybe you could uh, tell us a little bit about sure. what you've got and, uh, and, and the products here. Right. So this one here, I'm not going to talk about it. it. Actually, is a non-OCP box, but these other ones all are. Uh, this is one that's pretty interesting. I'm going to show you sort of the back of it too. But this is the model 1500. And what we did was, uh, we've seen a lot of people say that they want to have OCP in a 19-inch solution. Uh, and so for a lot of people, there's a lot of great benefits around OCP, but just their infrastructure is set up. It's just not easy to rip and replace the, the racks. It's not going to be a practical thing. Right, so the, the open compute, the open rack has a. Uh, it's so it's larger. So those the, the servers today are larger. You can actually fit more things into them, which is great. So the new open rack solutions are actually very wide, and you can slip in you know three of the servers in a row along with other things. But the traditional 19-inch rack you can as much. But unfortunately, there is a pretty large legacy of existing racks in place. And for some of these customers, it's going to be there for another five years. It's going to be there for a while. But they don't want to wait. And so this is one of the ways. There's a lot of areas that we're looking at, but this is one in particular. Uh, that we have, it's called the Model 1500. And it is basically taking what is today uh, version two, the windmill product from Open Compute, and we basically just shrunk it. So we've put in a new um, power supply, and we've shrunk the sides of it so it's able to fit in. It'll be reverse airflow, whichever airflow direction you guys require, wh wh whatever it needs. And then we've also switched. So our boot drives, um, they could be SSDs or they could be two right. and a half. So that's really what's made that very quick, a very fast way to get into OCP very quickly um, using 19 inch. We've got some other ones here, and I'll show you a couple other 19 inch ones, and then we're going to go back to kind of the standard OCP stuff. Sure. So um, this is Roadrunner and this is Decathlete. So these are the examples. A lot of these were actually driven from the financial community. Right. So they had some real ideas of what they wanted. But again, they're one of the markets where 19 inch form factor is really important. Um, they can't really rip and replace it. Uh, they really got to stick with a 19 inch uh, today. There are some other solutions for um, the financial guys aside from these, but this is an example of so um, Roadrunner is some the of it. AMD solution. Roadrunner is the AMD and solution, yeah. and Intel is the uh, Decathlete is the Intel version. Uh, and so these boards are coming in now, and again, they do fit in a, into a 19 inch uh, rack, and they also have some important uh, things like the dual power supplies and things that the financial community has specifically asked for. Um, so there's been a lot of interest in both of these, and it's not just for the financial community. It's really a lot of folks. There's more people out there, it seems like, than, than you might think that are really constrained by 19-inch, at least for the moment. So this is very interesting. This is a, an ash rack. We call it an ash rack. Uh, basically what it is is it is still as wide as the traditional OCP box, but the actual outer dimensions are much more like a 19-inch rack. So you're able to take this product, and it's OCP-based product, and you're able to install it into a traditional database. It won't fit, again, they don't fit in standard 19-inch rack, so that's one problem. However, uh, if you can put in new racks, you're putting in new racks, this fits uh, very well. Um, and this is an example of a Riot rack. So um, we engaged with Riot, and um, you know they found that this worked very well on their workload for their um, systems. And Riot's a very innovative company. They're very focused on being green, and they wanted to have a very good user experience, and they felt OCP would be able to deliver that. Um, so they tested it. 
So maybe tell us a little bit about Riot. Riot is sure. Riot Games or a gaming company. It it's seems a gaming like company. They're one of the examples of some of the, the verticals and the kind of customers right. that are going beyond just the hyperscale right. market. Right, right. And uh, so Riot Games uh, did feel that this was going to be a very good uh, product for them in terms um, of uh, the can, products that they have. And the main one that they have is uh, League of Legends. That right. So that is really what they're known for. Um, they have these units. Uh, they were tested very well. We were able to test them and in a test environment and then be able to deploy very quickly. So we're able to get these out, these uh, units out in full production, full racks within about a quarter's time. So the one thing we like to emphasize to people is, is that OCP is new and it's innovative, but you can actually deploy very quickly. So from design concept to actual test to actual deployment in data centers, it could be as short as one quarter. So we're here with Thank Howard so Cohen from uh, Hive, who's going to tell us a little bit about some of the open compute solutions that they put together. Howard, what the, can you tell us a little bit about so, uh, what we're the, looking at here? What we're looking at here now is the new uh, open rack solutions. Uh, it, there are two of them right here. The first one is uh, the server node, which is known as Winterfell, is its code name. And it consists of the same CPU that existed in the previous versions of OCP version 2.0, but just repackaged so that you can fit three of them across in, a, in the open rack, as opposed to the old one, which had two across. So you can increase the density a, a little bit. Um, right next to it is its brother, which is the storage, open vault, the storage solution. So this is a, uh, a, a 15 drives per tray, two trays per chassis that will fit in there. Um, the, the open rack itself supports currently in its current configuration uh, the ability to put 15 boxes. So you're going to have 15 storage boxes in there and or some combination of 15 triples. So you're going to have up to 45 Winterfells and uh, up to 15 Noxes in one rack. And each of these can then slide into the rack and plug into the bus bar in the Correct. back where they're, they're, they're powered. In the back uh, we have a bus bar clip so there are the the rack itself consists of three 12 volt DC bus bars, and you plug this into the rack. It gets power at the back there. There's nothing that you need to do in terms of powering it up. Um, on the front, you hook it in. This has a, a 10 gig Ethernet card. It has a one gig connector. It has a, a hard drive, and in this case, a Fusion I/O card added into it, uh, along with two Xeon processors. Um, you have up to 16 DIMM slots per board, um, so you can get uh, configurations from say uh, 16 and 32 gig up to 244 gig. Uh, right now for whatever your needs are.